Hello mindful foodies, Inka from Health Origins here. So today I'm gonna show you how to make a quick and simple no-bake um, cake from Weetabix, organic Weetabix. And this is how the fin finished product looks. There's a slice of it. So let's begin. So this cake is super easy to put together. Here I've got some organic Weetabix and you want to go for organic because Otherwise, your wheat, even if it's whole grain, has um, some um, glyphosate, okay? So you want to go for organic. So I'm going to use two pieces here. And I'm going to break it up into crumbs. Actually, I'm going to use three pieces to make a little bit more. A more substantial portion of cake. You could do this with shredded wheat as well but I haven't found any organic and um, shredded wheat here in the supermarket. So I've shredded that. I'm going to start with the jam. So here I'm going to use raspberry but you could use whatever um, jam is your preference. Um, I'm going to add maybe a tablespoon or so and then I'm gonna add four tablespoons of coconut uh, yogurt or you could use soy yogurt any kind of plant-based um, yogurt and you could also use raspberry yogurt if yours was actually flavored um, you could use that as well so I'm gonna just mix that through and a little bit of uh, salt as well just a little grind there we go, um, and I'm gonna just mix that all through. You wanna make sure all the um, the wheat is wetted, you know, it's wet. Um, I think I, I need another tablespoon. I'll add another tablespoon of yogurt and maybe another teaspoon of jam just to make sure it our cake is sweet enough so you want it moist but you don't want it too liquid so there it is it's mixed now I've got um, a bowl that I've lined with parchment paper if you have some clink film you could use that will probably be easier but literally just adding that and we want to press it into the bottom to make some kind of a, a cake shape like level out the top and press it so this is now ready to go into the fridge I can you know just wrap it a little bit with the same paper um, so it doesn't dry out the surface and I'm gonna place this in the fridge to set for at least an hour hour to two hours and then we're gonna check it so my cake has been resting actually overnight. I didn't have a chance to, um, to unwrap it yesterday. So let's see what we have. So yeah, so that has set. So I'm gonna place it onto a plate, peel the paper off and voila. Granted, it's not the most pretty looking cake because of, you know, the, the paper. It's got like some uh, ridges there. If you used um, cling film on there, you know, that would be a nicer kind of cleaner shape. To slightly decorate it, I'm gonna add a, a bit of jam here and I'm gonna cut this and we'll see what it's like inside. There we go. So that's a slice of cake there. And when there's cake, there's Mark around. Hey so guys. <laughs> we're gonna be taste testing this together. So this is a no big Weetabix cake. Okay. All right. It's a bit. Uh, it's it's quite sticky. It sticks to the base, <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Mm. Mm. What do you think? 
It's straight from the fridge, so it's a little bit mm. cold. I would get it to room temperature, ideally, but... I like that. I mean, it's a little bit kind of... Uh, claggy. Claggy, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's not your baked cake, so you can't no. expect anything like a baked mm. type of texture. But the flavour is lovely, and I like soft things anyway, so it's kind of up my street. That jam really, yeah, you know, adds to it. So mm. this is raspberry, but you can use whatever flavor for the actual mm. cake when you make it and to top it off. So yeah, so this is a thumbs up from us. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up too. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe for more videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. And as always, remember, food is fuel. So be mindful of what you put in the body. Until next time. Bye guys.